today, just to note, just to let you know, we have two hours where Sensei is going to teach, answer your questions, draw together with you. Uh, it's quite a free form. Uh, it will evolve, I think, as it goes along. We have ten wonderful manga ka from the UK with us in the front, and we have you at the back as well. Thank you very much for coming to, to see what's happening. I will lead it as well to Bethan, who will help you. She's uh, our interpreter for the day. Please, if you have any questions, you can go through Bethan. I will leave it to you, Sensei, uh, how to do it. Thank you very much indeed. We very much appreciate it. A very valuable two hours. Thank you very much. Thank you. I occasionally uh, do some digital work. I'm trying to get used to it, but I still prefer using a, a pen just for the sensation, the sensitivity. I think it's the friction between the pen and the paper that, are, that I enjoy that, that feeling. I did some live drawing upstairs the other day on glass. Glass to marker, that, that, I think, for me, it's too slippery. Wow, wow, wow! For me, a marker 
pen on glass is just too slippery. <laughs> So maybe it's, it is that friction, it's not too slippery. You use a pen on paper, you've got friction and it doesn't slide away. I haven't worked much as a manga, as manga as assistant, but I did have uh, one year where I worked for someone else as an assistant while I was doing my own work. It was about 36 years ago. <laughs> I just turned pro, uh, and my and the, the mangaka told me to practice drawing lines. And this is what we did. Uh, and those of you who work digitally are going to find this ridiculous. And he had me do that to cover the whole of a sheet of paper. And once I finished that sheet, another sheet of paper. And I spent about a week drawing lines uh, all day, every day. <laughs> this is very Japanese training. <laughs> And I thought, why do I have to do this? And I thought, why do I have to do this? But if you do that for a week, you really end up being able to control the pen. <laughs>
緒に<笑>シュワイムランプにやるっていうか。で均等なのか均等なほど、えー、それを掛け合わせると、えー、そこにモアレのような模様がファーッと出てくるのが一番正しい掛け合わせこういうテクニックを身につけていると何かそうですね例えばこれがこ,こうあんまり汚いと
Something new. You can use it for things like the surface of water. Uh, and as you can see, it works a lot better if your lines are nice and even. So practicing to be able to do this is quite mechanical, uh, it can be quite monotonous. But once you master it, It actually helps with things like drawing hair. You can draw beautiful uh, flowing hair with these kinds of even lines. Moving on from what you were practicing just now, uh, the next step on from that is this, which is you take a drawing pen. Ideally, you want uh, a drawing pin with a completely flat head. This one's a bit round, it's not ideal. So you're just drawing the lines towards the drawing pin. Uh, we call these speed lines or converging lines. Go one step further. You can draw thicker lines. So close that they're virtually joining onto each other. Flash, this is a better flash. Yeah, I, I just don't need 
、えー、こうこうこうやってこう,こういうふうになってそしたらでここはあのメタフラッシュねって指示して。でこのこういうところのこの中心部にこう。この感じ好きなんですけどね。これは下からのこの<咳>下下からの方角ですね。このこう,こういうふうにラ,ライティングが来ると、このあのミステリーとか、えー、恐怖シーンのようなところですよね、えー。なぜか下側からライトが当たるとこう怖くなりますよね。I quite, I quite like this effect. It's, it's good for sort of mystery or scary scenes, like you're being lit by a torch from below. For some reason, that, that lighting from below gives a kind of scary feel. I really like using that technique. <laughs> 僕はあの漫画の小回りっていうものがありましてそのー大友克弘さんの小回りがとっても綺麗だなって思って35年以上前にですね、えー、ちょうど「アキラ」が発表された頃ですね、えー、その「アキラ」の漫画を見てあれはあの日本の漫画は印刷されている雑誌の、えー、1.2 倍で書いてるんです原稿が。That's pretty much all the basics.、Um, so let's talk about the, the, how you divide up the page、uh, in manga. I really liked、um, Otomo Katsuhiro's way of, of splitting up the page into frames. Um, I'm talking 35 plus years ago、uh, when Akira came out. Japanese manga are drawn、uh, 1.2 times the size of the page they're going to be printed on. なので、えー、と雑誌に載っている大友克弘さんの漫画を、えー、とこの根盛りで測りまして縦横の彼は。横が広くて、縦が細い。そうですね、ここ、こ,この、この幅。Uh, so you measure out how big the, the, the frames have to be to fit that page.、Uh, and Otomo Katsu Heroes, they, they are long and short. That sense, no. Long,、uh, horizontally, short, vertically. でで so, in order to copy that, I measured the spaces between the frames that he had in the magazine, multiplied it by 1.2.、Uh, and that's how I discovered that that space there is 5 millimeters. And that, that space there is three millimeters. So, what is the size of the frame? The frame of 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 the frame
This is this is pretty hardcore. <笑>で、えー、ですのでこういう形で、えー、引きますとですね。これ今 0.8 ミリ。So that's 0.8 millimeters. でこれをこう。そうするとこういうふうになりますけど、大友和弘さんは、だから、例えばここが、これがこう5ミリとしますね、このぐらいで。そうすると、ここが、このぐらいですね。そうするとで、このぐらいですね。と<笑>で僕はそれで画面このコマ割りをとっても大友克洋さんの漫画が好きだったのでコマ割りをこの比率にしてみたらすごく大友克洋っぽくなった。で、えー、となぜ横が広くて。で、漫画というのは、この基本的には必ず
So by slightly offsetting those bottom two squares, you're telling the reader that this is a separate section uh, to the one above, and it, it's, it, it's easy for them to, to flow through those different sections. So that is really, really important. The other thing that's important for making sure the reader can, can read this with the least amount of stress is the positioning of the speech bubbles. So, 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 and if you get this right and you manage to lead the reader through the story uh, with the least amount of stress possible, then they will be immersed in the story and when they get to the last frame, they will want to turn the page. With this style, even if that last frame is exactly the same, the reader's going to get to there and not be quite sure what has gone on on that page. So they might, instead of turning the page, they might go back to the start of that page to try and figure out what's just happened. They're not immersed in the story. それでもやはり漫画っていうのは自由なものなんであまりスクエアに行っても面白くないだからそこの読者とのこのそこのこのぐらいついてくれるかっていうことの読者とのやり合いがあるわけですよね。Having said that, manga there's a lot of freedom in manga. You don't want it all completely square. That's boring. It's a kind of relationship, a communication with the reader where you're you're kind of trying to find that figure out. How far you can take it and still have the reader follow you. So the next page might look like this. But you could work out how to read that, right?
これが見開きとして先ほどのこの流れでこう見ていった流れでドーンっていうサイズが変わるこれが漫画の最大のクライマックス片打ちさ。So you're going through your frames and you're going through your frames and then you turn the page and all of a sudden you've got a two page spread and it's like bang.、Uh, this, is, this is one of the, the most climactic things you can do with Mac. But if you look at the smartphone or the iPad, you can see that the size of 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 the size The size of the screen doesn't change, and you only get half of that. And then, if you want to see the whole thing, you're going to have to turn your phone around horizontally, and then it just ends up being much smaller. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 And for me, that is, that is, they've taken away the biggest, the best weapon that we have as a band artist.、Um, they've taken away the ability to build up through those little frames and then all of a sudden turn the page and bang, it's gone. なので、えー、ちょっとこの間も話したんですけど、えー、この見開き状態、こう、こう,こういう,う iPad のデバイスですか。こういうふうに見れる、見開きができるそのデジタル端末っていうものを開発できますかというのをその開発者に聞いたんです。So I have asked、uh, some、uh, developers whether it wouldn't be possible to, to develop an iPad or some kind of tablet that opens up like a book, so you could get that same effect. できれば、あ、えー、このスって。こすると、見開きで画面が変わる。あ、uh,、and if you you just swipe, then you change both the pages at once, as though you are flipping the page over. そしてな、できれば、触った感じ紙みたいな。<笑> and I would like it to feel like paper. <笑><笑>そしたらですね、その人たちが、あ、それもうできますって。And they said yes.、うん、で、だからこの感じで。持ってで外で、えー、カ,フェカフェとかでこれをもうこう出してスッてやれば見れちゃうっていうものが開発できる。They said that it would be possible to develop something like that that you can just you know take to the cafe and open and swipe and get the whole full page experience。それで僕がその彼らに言ったのはそれは開発しないでくれ。So I said please don't。なぜかというと。それが出来上がったら、本当にこの世界から本屋さんがなくなってしまうんです。Because once they develop that, bookshops are going to disappear. 僕は本屋さんが大好きなので、おそらくその道具が発明されたら、おそらく世界中から本屋さんがなくなると思うんですよ。Because I love bookshops,、uh, and I think once they manage to develop a tablet that works in that way, there will be no bookshops left in the world. でもおそらくもうすぐできます。But I think they're going to go for it, and I think we will be seeing something like that soon. これであの東京でタクシーに乗っていましたら、タクシーに東京タクシーってここにあのこのあのテレビコマーシャルみたいなのが流れる。Uh, I don't know if you've been in a taxi in Tokyo, but in taxis in Tokyo they've got a, a TV screen and it shows adverts. そこでちょっと衝撃的なものを見たんですけども、あのいわゆる。音楽の譜面ですね、スコア。Something that stuck with me is one that had a musical score。僕が言っていたのとまるで同じ。こうやって開いて、そのミュージシャンがこう置いて、そうすると足でフットスイッチを押していくと、どんどんどんどんスコアが変わるんです。見開きでね。And it was the same thing as what I've just been describing. It was an electronic musical score that the musician could open up, put on their music stand, read two pages of music, and then A foot switch that flips to the next page. だからピアノの演奏の時とかに横にこう座っててこうやってる人いたんですよ。So, usually, you know, you watch a pianist that's got a page turn sitting beside them. もうあの人いらなくなった。That person's gone. Out of a job. まもなく漫画も来ますよ、それ
So you're talking Tesco, you're think, talking things like this. That's his style. But if you think about it, what happens when you try to draw the character head on? Where are those sticky out bits actually sticking out of? And the nose, what do you do with that? Yeah, it's looking like this. And the mouth, is that really sideways? Well, you have to draw that in the middle, right? It does not look like Astro Boy anymore. So, there's a lot of famous, what is it? Chiba Tetsuya, the Joe. Uh, or how about Chiba Tetsuya's Tomorrow's Joe? Chiba Tetsuya's manga do not have any characters drawn head on. This nose is not going to work. So it's the problem that Japanese manga has always been faced with. And this was a problem in the Japanese manga world for a long time. The, you know, the Geki Ga to be called a story of the movement. But the Geki Ga people, for example, 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 and you have the you, know, you have the Gekiba movement uh, and things like Orgo 13. But Gogo 13 is is Gekiga rather than manga. Uh, and we want to draw manga. え、1970年代、1970年あたりに、え、鉄川さんのその1974年の、74年の新宝島以来の大きなモーブメントとして大友勝弘っていう人が現れた。And then in 1979-1980, you get another Big change uh, with Otomo Katsuhiro. It's the biggest change that's happened since 1947 when Tezuka uh, wrote New Treasure Island. Otomo san no what, and what Otoma does is he has a more realistic sketch-like feel to his nose, uh, particularly, uh, but it's not Gekiga, it's still manga. So the And he starts drawing noses, as you as you all know, that look like this. So the And the faces are head on. Uh, and they are looking out, they are looking directly at the reader. なので、so his new development, his new invention, his decision to draw nostrils uh, on his manga characters is a revolution in the Japanese manga. Kawaii 
少女漫画系の人たちが困ったんです女の子のキャラクターに鼻の穴描いていい So the problem then is when you have your shoujo manga, you've got cute little girl characters like this, and the manga girl is saying, We don't want our cute little girl characters to have nostrils. So, when you can't find a chosen shadow, I would just say, And then the long comes, Shish. And then the long comes, it would just be Sashi. So, it was, How are you, Ono, the Arina? この鼻の穴を描いた正面顔、これを描かなければ、そういう大友さんあまり可愛い子の顔を描いてないですから。江口先生は可愛い子でありながら鼻の穴を描いて、それで大友和弘の表現のところまで持っていくっていうことでチャレンジするために、ついに女の子を正面顔で鼻の穴を2つ描いた。Nostrils and applies that to cute girl characters. So he draws the cute girls head on with nostrils. So, I know, 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 <笑>そのように、えー、とまだまだ漫画というのは開発開拓していく部分たくさんあるんです、ね、room,、uh, develop, えー、ですのでその自分が苦手と思っているようなアングルとかもチャレンジしてチャレンジしてそれが書けるようになるとかとにかくそういうことも全部含めて、えー、自分の中から改革をしていくっていうことをずっとし続けるのがあの漫画を描くということなんじゃないかなと思うんですよ。So keep trying over and over to 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 overcome those bits that you're not good at,、uh, and I think drawing manga is basically a series of these small revolutions with, with、uh, inside yourself. そしてえっ、ー、とまたちょっと今次の話になりますけども。Where we go? えー、と僕はあのー、8年間ぐらい大学の、あのー、名古屋造形大という大学で、えー、漫画の描き方を8年間ぐらい教えてたんですけども、えー、とーアーストの時に、私は8年間、名古屋アーティングを教えていました。学生たちにまず言ってたのはですね、えー、みんなその書き始めに丸を書いて首を書いて肩を書いて頭に顔のところに十字なんか書いてこうやって書いてないかっていうことを僕は言ったら、まあ、みんなほとんどの,あの学生たちがそうやって書いて。Uh, and what I would do、uh, at the beginning of the course is to ask the students so, when you draw your manga, do you do it like this? Draw a circle, draw a neck, draw the shoulders, and draw a cross on the face.、Uh, and when I asked them, it turns out pretty much all of them would, would draw like this. <laughs> But all of the characters, if you're doing that, end up looking like that. So, if you're drawing an elderly person, for example, they don't have a neck. That's an old person. And yet, if you ask a young artist today to draw an old, an old person, They'll end up looking like that one on the left. They're very straight and erect. And I think it's because they, they basically start out drawing every character in this way.
take this old guy, for example. Sometimes this is how you want the old guy to look. The character's silhouette is so important. That is the character. So I encourage the students to to try and not draw like this. Stop. Just try stopping with the circle of the neck and the shoulders and the cross. So this is how you just go for it and draw what it is that you have in your head. But if you practice drawing faces from this angle, then as soon as it comes into your head, as soon as a face from that angle pops into your head and you know that's the way it has to be, then you'll be able to draw it straight away. Uh, 
Widow. And those are the kind of expressions that if you can if you can build upon those kinds of expressions, it's going to give the manga so much more depth. Okay, here's your challenge. Draw someone who wants to cry but who's forcing themselves to smile. What I've been thinking recently, complicated expressions often are shown using the eyes. And, and I've been experimenting recently just by changing the angle of that line at the bottom of the iris. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
で大体僕が今自分が掴んでいるようなものとしての、えー、主なもの主なお話をしてみました、えー、ここからは、えー、と質問を受けたまいりますので、えー、何か聞きたいことがあったら So that's my attempt、uh, at、uh, drawing what, what I set for you.、Uh, and that is pretty much everything I feel I have to impart to you. So now it's time for your questions.、Uh, if you have anything you want to know, please ask. <笑>えー、例えばですね、えー、僕はあの普通のいわゆる本当に、えー、実務的な感じの話からすると、えー、僕は僕こうシ,ャシャープペンシルを使って書いてるんですけども、あのー、先ほどこの,この方もこのブルードこれ書いてるんですよね。これあの僕
produce a high volume of manga, and so I've had assistants uh, most of the time drawing the background. Uh, but my most recent manga, Asadora, uh, I've been drawing a lot of backgrounds myself, um, and I have fewer assistants. I, I normally have four, and for this I've only got two, uh, and the rest of the backgrounds I've been drawing myself. A good place to start is watching films and TV dramas, uh, paying attention to the acting, and noticing when when someone is doing giving a really good performance. The so, the actual end is so. I'm a documentary, 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 really thing. So, I've seen and talked about it. No. 顔に割と興味があって、やっぱりそこには演技でないものですかね。So uh, watching acting is important, but also I found recently documentaries because that's real. They're not acting, and and you see all the real expressions of someone who's really feeling or experiencing something. それこそさっきのこの悲しいのになんで笑ってるんだろうみたいな。日本人ってとっても変わったところがありまして、あの。あの、東北の大震災の時とかも被害に遭った、被災した人たちにインタビューすると、いや、それ困っちゃって、笑ってるんですよ。それで、なんで笑ってるんだろうって、それももの we were talking about people who smile even though they're feeling sad or they laugh even though they're feeling sad and why is that? Um, but I remember uh, people after the uh, after the tsunami, the March 11th tsunami uh, in Tohoku being interviewed on TV and, and sort of laughing and saying, yeah, I'm at a bit of a loss now, really. Uh, it's very, that, that, that is real, that's, that's not acting. That's <laughs> その作業は、本当に一日と欠かさず書き続ける。So you watch, you remember, uh, and then you you pull it out of your head and, and just put it down on paper, and that's something you just need to be doing every single day. Uh, 